Hey everybody, my name is Angela Shippen and I'm a professional makeup artist based in San Francisco, but in reality, I also have a really interesting career path in how I became a professional makeup artist and I've had a lot of experiences that I wanna talk about and share on this new journey of being a content creator. So I have an upcoming trip to Spain, which is actually where my journey with makeup actually began. I started out as an English teacher in Madrid, Spain. A lot happened while I was in Spain. I was 22, that's where I met my husband. We can talk about all that other stuff at a later date. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer that. Today, I wanna do a little bit of an introduction, which is how I started making videos on social media, which was in 2020 after the pandemic. I was fired from my full-time job. I was an in-house makeup artist working in education and training for a small indie makeup brand. And I essentially didn't really know what to do. I didn't really want to go back to working a full-time job. So I started building my freelance career and really focusing on being my own boss and building my own clientele. My freelance career started doing really well, but something that I learned really early on into being a freelancer is that there are pauses of slowness and peaks of being really busy. During the slow periods, I didn't really know what to do with my free time, so I started posting on TikTok like a lot of people were doing. And I started posting makeup education, makeup application video, answering questions, going live, and teaching people what it's like to be a professional makeup artist, whether I was doing makeup on myself, doing makeup on models, or taking people with me through my kit or at work. And while I love makeup, it's not the only thing that I love. And so I created a separate account, Tales of a Wandering Eye, to talk about all the other things that I'm passionate about. The biggest chapter and the chapter in my life that most people are interested in, which is my time living in Spain. Journey with Spain actually began in 2010. I went there to learn Spanish and to teach English. And then I kind of did a bunch of things and ended up as a makeup artist. I noticed that a lot of people in my life, family and friends, when they would go to Spain, they would complain about specific things and I noticed that there was a trend and it was usually like customer service, meal times, and then language barrier things. Like maybe they learned how to say a specific thing in Spanish for, you know, Mexican Spanish because I grew up right next to the border and then they go to Spain and it's misunderstood or people don't understand what they're saying. So I just feel like there's like little things that was like, oh, that's easy. I can just share from personal experience shared a few videos and I feel like people are really receptive to that. And so I thought, okay, cool. So I'm gonna have my makeup TikTok where I talk about makeup products and all the things I love about makeup and then I'm gonna have my other channel too. Anyways, this is my introduction video. I don't know if I'll delete this, maybe I will because I'm self-conscious, um, but I am going to do another video walking you through my process for packing clothes as someone who will be doing some shopping when I'm in Spain, but also wants to pack things that are elevated classics. I don't wanna look like a slob when I'm traveling. I wanna look nice, I wanna look put together. I'm also not going to be doing the typical American European travel. Um, I'm gonna be in an apartment with family who I can borrow things from if I need to. Um, but I also wanna look nice and put together for meeting up with my friends, going out to eat, walking around the city. My vibe is elevated casual. So I'm gonna walk you through my process of picking out my clothes. Also packing all of my beauty and skincare items into a really small carry-on bag. Okay, so if that interests you, stay tuned.